Spider-Man No Way Home is a 27th movie of Marvel Cinematic Universe and it will be released pretty soon. Hello everybody, today we'll talk about everything that you need to know before watching Spider-Man No Way Home. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Let's go. All we know that in No Way Home we will see all three Spider-Man. It's not a secret and not a spoiler. Marvel wants to hide this fact but it's impossible to hide. Tobey Maguire's Andrew Garfield's and Tom Holland's Spider-Man will fight against six main Spider-Man villains. They are known as the Sinister Six. Green Goblin, Doc Ock, Lizard, Electro, Sandman and Venom. Whoa, I'm impressed. And we will talk in this video about everyone. Before watching No Way Home you only need to know about Spider-Man Homecoming and Spider-Man Far From Home. But I recommend you to watch Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man trilogy and two movies of Andrew Garfield's Spidey because of atmosphere and to remember old characters that will appear in this incredible movie. Right now I will briefly retell all previous Spider-Man movies and we'll talk about all main characters. After being beaten by a radioactive spider on a field trip and losing his uncle, Peter Parker gains superhuman powers and uses them for good to become the crime-fighting hero Spider-Man. But things get even harder when an evil known as the Green Goblin begins to terrorize New York, but also needs to try and be with the love of his life, Mary Jane Watson. All main characters of this movie. Tobey Maguire's Peter Parker, his best friend Harry Osborn, Harry's father Norman Osborn, also known as the Green Goblin, Peter Parker's aunt May Parker and uncle Ben Parker, Peter's love of life MJ. In the end of the movie Green Goblin dies and Harry saw that Spider-Man had killed his father. Harry wants a revenge. MJ loves Peter but he can't be with her because it will be pretty dangerous way and pretty risky for her life. Spider-Man 2 of 2004. It's been two years since Peter Parker transformed into Spider-Man and he's still trying to balance life perfectly. His love for Mary Jane is becoming much stronger as he finds it hard to not let her down. His friendship with Harry Osborn is at risk as the young Harry is frustrated with Spider-Man getting away with his father's death. And if this wasn't enough for the superhero a new enemy is in town, Dr. Otto Octavius is involved in a freak scientific accident that becomes the dangerous Dr. Octopus. In the end of the movie Doc Ock dies, saving Planet from his experiment. MJ saw that Peter is Spider-Man and they agreed to be together. Harry learned about Peter's secret too, but he couldn't kill him. He found his father's costume and in the next movie he will become the new Green Goblin. Spider-Man 3 of 2007 Life finally feels good for Peter Parker. He has managed to balance life as both Spider-Man and as Mary Jane's boyfriend. He is even planning on proposing to MJ. But life isn't always going to be easy for the webbed hero. Harry Osborn still hasn't forgiven Peter for the death of his father. He has developed the perfect technology and crowns himself the new Green Goblin. Harry isn't the only problem. It is revealed that an escaped convict Flint Marco is the real killer of Peter's uncle. After an accident he is now the invincible Sandman who has teamed up with Venom to target the superhero who is struggling to handle his life. In the end of the movie Venom moves in Eddie Brock's body. Harry learns that Peter isn't guilty, he didn't kill his father and goes to help him to fight Venom and Sandman. Venom destroyed. Sandman tells the truth about Uncle Ben's death that he did it accidentally and he was asking for Peter's forgiveness and Peter forgives him. Harry saves Peter and gives his life for him and an amazing trilogy ends. The Amazing Spider-Man Peter Parker is an outcast high schooler who was abandoned by his parents as a boy, leaving him to be raised by his uncle Ben and aunt May. Like most teenagers, Peter is trying to figure out who he is and how he got to be the person he is today. Peter is also finding his way with his first high school crush Gwen Stacy and together they struggle with love, commitment and secrets. As Peter discovers a mysterious briefcase that belonged to his father, he begins a quest to understand his parents' disappearance, leading him directly to Oscorp and the lab of Dr. Kurt Connors, his father's former partner. After Peter is beaten by a genetically altered spider, he gains newfound spider-like powers. He needs to protect New York City from the threat of his friend turned enemy Dr. Kurt Connors, whom has transformed into the lizard. Main characters are Andrew Garfield's Peter Parker, Gwen Stacy, Aunt May, Uncle Ben, Dr. Kurt Connors who also known as the Lizard and Captain George Stacy who is father of Gwen. In the end of the movie Captain Stacy dies saving Peter and World but before Captain passed away Peter promises him not to interfere in Gwen's life because it's dangerous for her. The Amazing Spider-Man 2 Struggling to stand by his promise in the meantime as Peter's old friend Harry Osborn inherits Oscar Industries and the deadly retrovirus from his father Norman. Max Dillon in a tragic accident becomes Electro, the human power plant. Harry becomes the Green Goblin and both of them want Spider-Man's death. In the end of the movie Harry and Electro dies, Gwen falls from height and passed away. Spider-Man Homecoming 
A young Peter Parker begins to navigate his newfound identity as the web-slinging superhero Spider-Man. Thrilled by his experience with the Avengers, Peter returns home, where he lives with his Aunt May, under the watchful eye of his new mentor Tony Stark. Peter tries to fall back into his normal daily routine, distracted by thoughts of proving himself to be more than just your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. But when the Vulture emerges as a new villain, everything that Peter holds most important will be threatened. In the end of the movie, Peter stops Vulture's plan and gives him to police. Spider-Man Far From Home Events of Far From Home is going after the events of Avengers Endgame. Peter decides to join his best friend Ned, MJ and the rest of the gang on a European vacation. However, Peter's plan to leave superheroics behind for a few weeks are quickly scrapped when he begrudgingly agrees to help Nick Fury uncover the mystery of several elemental creature attacks, creating havoc across the continent. Peter and MJ understand that these elemental creatures are an illusion and it's all mysterious plan. In the end of the movie, MJ and Peter become more than friends. Peter stops mysterious plan and Mysterio dies. Spider-Man Far From Home ends with Spidey aka Peter Parker taking his lady friend MJ out for a pretty terrifying looking web swing around New York City. The mid credit scene returns to them just minutes later, completing their swing with MJ now frizzy haired and shaken, suggesting that they should never do that again. But then both of them have their attention diverted by a news broadcast. A video clip has surfaced from the last confrontation between Spidey and Mysterio. Far From Home seeming hero who revealed himself as a villain with a secret agenda earlier in the film. In this highly edited it clips, Spider-Man appears to order Mysterio's drones to kill people. Mysterio claims Spidey says he is going to be the new Iron Man, implying Spidey murdered Mysterio out of jealousy, because Mysterio was stepping up into that role, and then he out Spider-Man as Peter Parker. In No Way Home, three Spider-Men, Tobey Maguire's, Andrew Garfield's and Tom Holland's will fight against six main Spider-Man villains, Green Goblin from the movie Spider-Man of 2002, Doctor Octopus from Spider-Man 2, Sandman from Spider-Man 3, The Lizard from The Amazing Spider-Man, Electro from The Amazing Spider-Man 2, and Tom Hardy's Venom. Who didn't know about Venom 2's post credit scene? Warning, spoilers. Eddie Brock was watching TV and he has teleported to Tom Holland's Spider-Man Verse. After that, Venom saw Spidey on TV and he wants to fight him. Something like that. Matt Murdock, also known as Daredevil, can appear in this movie as maybe Peter's lawyer, but we are not sure. J. Jonah Jameson will appear in this movie too with his Daily Bugle news. Right now, the synopsis of Spider-Man No Way Home. After Peter Parker's identity as Spider-Man was exposed by Mysterio at the end of Spider-Man Far From Home, his life and reputation are turned upside down. Parker asks Dr. Stephen Strange to help restore his secret identity with magic, but this breaks open the multiverse, allowing five supervillains from alternate realities who previously fought other versions of Spider-Man to arrive. Attention! In this synopsis, Sony wrote five villains instead of six. Why? Maybe five villains will come from alternate verse and one villain will will be from Tom Holland's Spider-Man reality, don't know. Maybe Vulture or Scorpion will escape from prison or Mysterio is not dead, Venom will team up with Spider-Man, uh, but it's just a theory. Or Marvel didn't want to spoil Venom 2 and for that they wrote 5 instead of 6, I don't know. That's it, you are ready to watch Spider-Man No Way Home, don't forget to subscribe and like this video, thanks for watching, goodbye. Back to the sound, back to the sound.